Hey, what's going on? Is Eric Skeldon, founder of Kingdom Warriors NFT. We got my friend and um, one of our um, man. He's actually going to be a Kingdom General soon, and um, he's on to meet the team. It's Jason Centeno. He's buying some more NFTs. We're going to show you guys today how you can um, purchase your Generation Two Kingdom Warriors NFTs. We got three thousand thirty-three more for sale. Um, these mints will give you all the utility that you'll see in mint. We'll kind of go through that and show you the utility. And then the only difference is going to be the token. Um, we're about to launch auto staking for these NFTs. So you're earning a, um, our on-chain utility token um, daily for holding these NFTs. And you're going to be able to, staff is actually testing this um, this week. Um, we're going to be testing it. Our developer, um, super brilliant developer is getting that ready for us um, to test this week, make sure it's all proper and everything's functioning good for you guys on testnet and then we will get it to you guys uh go check out the dad next store on social media it does amazing stuff um what else um yeah all right so we'll, we'll go over this jason welcome so yeah so hey so i just wanted to show this first so you're familiar with what we've had already as far as nfts i'm and if you guys don't know nfts can be anything so if you look right here these are kind of like um oh you got the unstoppable domain main nfts I got this NFT from a um, from an Arduino project that's pretty cool, uh, which I'm going to try to integrate into some of the stuff we're doing. Um, so this silver coin came from Kingdom Warriors. This is Manny's um, NFT. I picked family because you know data six that kind of thing. And here's the the current NFTs that I own. So I got these guys are I call them the twins and I, you know this is the most rare one right here that that I have I think it's the oh, yeah, that's a top 10 one. one yeah this one and then um you know I haven't picked what characteristics they're going to be yet but um you know part of the story as it unfolds is I'm going to you know give them names and and roles and things like that which is why I want to be a general because I want my own um, in case you guys didn't know this if you're a general you can get your own character created in this universe customized to your specific so I already have that the story who the general is going to be like this whole and Eric knows um, this whole thing with this um, seven mountain kingdom uh, inside of the kingdom uh, the seven mountains the land of seven mountains so anyway that's part of the lore I would be making that up but um that's that's the fun about nfts you can kind of make them anything you want um, like the crypto crypto punks have a comic book um, Manny's done with um, the, the Mafia, the um, Mini Monkey Mafia. He's done a card game. There's all kinds of things you can do once you own these NFTs. So I got, guys want you to expand your your understanding of them and what you can do with them as long as you have commercial rights. So um, as Eric said, I'm going to pick up some NFTs now. So you would go to the website Kingdom Warriors. This is the main part. Um, obviously, you can start reading up on everything. But what I want is this right here, Mint. As you can see, and show them some of the utility, um, Jason, because the utility, everything that's on this utility, um, they're they're going to be able to get now. They're going to be able to one even with the generation two, they're going to get all the utility below. The only different, they're still going to get multiplied uh, play to earn earnings as well. It's just going to be less than the three hundred Genesis as far as the token. All right, so I'm just going to go from the top to the bottom. Um, one NFT, the auto staking coming up. You know, exclusive investing. Multiply play to earn, you know, play to earn when we're, you know, when we get that going. Um, votes, um, event, this, uh, this novel. Get, yeah, Kingdom Wars ebook. That's already over 30 pages written. Uh, Jessica Matten, future uh, whitelist on anything else that we do, you're going to be able to get first access and whitelisted. Uh, we're also looking at different, for Kingdom Captains, if you own three or more, you're going to, uh, there's different, um, NFTs or art that basic concept art and stuff that we're, we're going to be able to airdrop for free to you guys. Um, and also one of the cool thing is you're going to get a hard copy of the book when it's launched, uh, signed by the um, founders and our author with a personalized note and then uh, early access to everything. So Jason's uh, buying three today and then he's going to get three more to get him to um, 10 and he's going to be a kingdom general. Once he has that, he basically, Jason's even has his own like robot, um, he has a tech company and he has this robot um, sweepies um, army that he's creating. And so with that army, he's going to have his kingdom warriors 10 and his general basically like go in the metaverse and command that army basically and lead that army to do so, cool stuff. In so world. think it. Yeah. So, so you can conceptualize it. So I'm a captain right now. I want to be a general because I get the custom NFT and a seat on the board and, and ideally 
the reason why I wanted to become a general and get my own custom NFT is because I want to basically do a version of like the met the the multiverse and the and the Marvel universe, which is we have all these different metaverses you've heard of, you know, obviously Facebook Meta, um, you know, the other the other metaverses, um, what's the other one? Um, Decentraland and like there's a bunch of Sandbox, them, right? so, Decentraland. Yeah, so we're 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 creating the another you know kingdom the kingdom um metaverse right but i'm also going to create a diff another one too with with an alternative sort of reality <laughs> i guess you can call it so this character in in one universe is a, a a dad inventor and then in this other universe is a is kind of like a reclusive inventor so think of spider-man in one universe spider-man a different universe or iron man they all have different stories but they're all Tech, tech, technologically advanced, or they all have these similar traits. And why we're doing that is because we want to actually take NFTs from other projects that we work with and share them in our universe. But to do the, to get the most out of them, we would create a character. You would have to have one character in each universe, and then you can match them up. So specifically for Kingdom Warrior, something that I came up with, which we want to write in, um, you know, hopefully in, inside the roadmap, is if you own an nft a kingdom warrior nft and then you own a um it's a in the in the sweepy universe one of the sweepers or the you know the sweepies or the trashies or whatever they could conceivably come into the kingdom universe you can play with them but they would play like think of it as a sidekick or an assistant so <coughs> it would augment your power whatever that is if you're technologically advanced obviously more but whatever your whatever your particular traits are they would enhance those as long as you had one from each universe so they would come into this universe so there's a whole story there on how how that's going to happen that i actually have to write out but like that's why i want this and i just wonder like i said if you're watching this so you'd open up your thinking on the possibilities of being a part of this project you could literally create your own corner of the universe if you want to write it out plan it out like that and invest in your own little corner like that like buying land or you know investing in um intellectual product you could do that in the in the you know in the metaverse right now which is something we're you know we're dancing we're, we're playing around with now so having said that let's make this real quick um so yeah let's get a mint get some mints right. so the mint right so you came to the main site you want to go to mint you see uh phase we're in phase two th phase three already started so sold out phase two i want to get um you know i want to get one of these things so you're gonna have to connect to your wallet so this is the one I want, the MetaMask wallet. Um, this is that wallet I wanted to go to, and oh, I think you have to click on your MetaMask pop up. No, I am. I mean, it's it's connected. Oh, you are on the other okay. one. Oh, there you go. You're connected. Coinbase one pops up too, so it's a little bit of pain. So now that that you see this little thing up here, this is the MetaMask um, Google. So okay, so look, we got some money in right there, and we're going to want to select the number. So for this case study. If you want to be a captain or do this special deal, um, you can do this right now. I'm going for three. I think I have enough money. I don't even know what they cost right now. <laughs> um, and I'm going to mint. And I'm going to find out. Well, let's see how I much gas this is. So that's you guys drop in the comments. Your guys uh, guess oh, for gas. That's, that, that's decent gas fee. I'm going to rock out with that. That was only 35 bucks. Normally at this time of day, it's like 70, 80, 90. So yeah, easier. Yeah, because it's 92 Gwei right now. So $35 for three minutes, you guys. That's like, why I jumped on it. I mean, I did I did it so fast because I didn't want to go jump in $15 in two seconds. Like sometimes Congratulations, your warriors are minted. Look, our, our ERC721 uh, contract is revolutionary. Uh, $35 for three minutes. And that if you did that, the gas is now 100 Gwei is 100 If you would have done that in the middle of the night, it literally would have been like $15, you know, $10 to $20. So this is um so we could you could refresh now yeah i'm gonna see and then it should show up in open c then yeah it'll get open c and then if you're in in a, if this is your first nft you can go to um i think you might have to uh, click on it and like refresh the metadata so you can Content see the that. all right refresh i might have to refresh it but you will um basically you will be able to um maybe click on one of them let's do it it should maybe click on refresh it it's probably got to take a little. I, I think OpenSea takes a little bit to refresh the we're, metadata because we're we're also used to instant that every once in a while when it takes a little bit we're like what the heck. <laughs> yeah. Um. So unfortunately, right now maybe it's a lot of people working on a network, but either way, um, 
we got, you can see that there are three in there. Uh, I don't want to do that. I already did that. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not refreshing. And show them how to refresh the metadata too. So we'll click on, click on it and it's the refresh button when you get, click on it. Like you click on your NFT, so click on one of them. Not that one. You can, it's actually a refresh. It looks just like that, but it's inside there. So, oh yeah, you can click on that and do it. Uh, actually, no, you can't. Here, you have to click on one of them. I'll show you how to do it. It's, um, and then it's on the right, on the right side. It's that refresh button on the very left, the very tab. Yeah, the left tab right there. That's called refresh metadata. And this is how you re you refresh your metadata. You click on that. And this is like, even if you meant to NFT or like th this, a lot of times when you meant to NFT, it should just, it already should kind of refresh open season. But when they, when they, when the developer changes the metadata, you kind of, you use it and you do sometimes even have to give it some time because they have to do it. But then you can just come back and like use like 30, 60 seconds. And then you, ref now you can actually refresh the screen. And when you come back and um, use it in like 30, 60 seconds, you can, uh, sometimes it does take like five, 10 minutes, but you can, when you do that, then it'll, it'll basically pop up the metadata use uh, typically. I have seen it take up to like 15, 20 minutes, but that's that's how you refresh the metadata but we can um we can uh move on from from there but yeah so once you're once you have that now you have that in your um that nft you can um you can go to holder verify in the in the discord and basically you can get your warrior holders role and you can get um you'll be open or you'll be have access to the kingdom alpha we're uh, we're actually starting a mastermind where we're meeting an hour a week uh with all the holders I think that's on Thursday at, um, I want to say 11. I got to double check, but, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, a lot of stuff, but we have, we got also alpha group where they're doing calls for, um, you know, good projects, good whitelist projects that we're getting for our community. Um, and then also just good calls on things to, uh, that are some of our, our crypto people are buying and stuff like that. Where did you say to go in the discord for the, what is um, it? go to discord and I'll show you. Uh, I'm in there. Um, oh, okay. Maybe you have to put it on the screen. On the screen. Hold on. Yeah, maybe put it over here so everyone else can see it. Oh, yeah. I'll just, I'll just do it this way. Discord. Hmm. And I'll, I'll drop it in Kingdom Chat. Um, folder verify. Okay, cause, so you can see the Discord right now? And I'm going to tag you, Jason. Uh, what is your name in here, Jason? The dad next door. Oh yeah, the dad. Warrior. So. So I just tagged you in Kingdom Chat. So go to Kingdom Chat. Announcements. Yeah, there's so many tabs here. Kingdom. Okay. Kingdom, Kingdom Chat. Chat. Got it. Man, you haven't been here in a minute, bro. <laughs> I have been trying to whip out another quickie. App. Okay, I just tagged you in it. So the dad next door. Oh yeah, no, you have it. You have warrior holders role. Yeah, you're very fun. Oh, but you do need to get your, what's it called? We need to get you Kingdom Captain, and then you're about to be Kingdom, okay. uh, what's it called? So now you're Kingdom Captain, you have over three, and then um, then you're getting Kingdom General, so. And I need to find a good one to use for General, because, like, I don't. Oh, these, so then, I, oh, yeah, because your name. Right. None, of them, none of them look like a General, so I'm trying to find one of the guys with a flaming sword or something, so I'm hoping I find, i hope hoping I got a good one coming. Um, yeah, for yeah. sure. Okay, and so look, they're they're in there now. So you want me to click on one? Oh no, yeah, they're good now. Yeah. So like, or no, that's it. So that's what that's what you're gonna have for now until the reveal will be early April uh, when we launch the game and the and you'll be able to have you'll know that's when you'll be able to reveal your your uh, what your warrior will be. So right now, and we're in pre-sales. So basically, you're still get all the perks of holding a warrior, but. We're basically doing pre-sales from now till early April when they the game releases and the art is revealed. Yeah, I want to, I want to go on here. Your most legendary is the guy with the beard, but he you probably don't think he looks like too much of a warrior, huh? No, he it, well, to me he's like he's going to be like a more wizard. like of a, 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 yeah, I was gonna say more like of a mage, and so I think I'm gonna have him. So like in my head, these guys are twins. <coughs> and remember, Dang, I was you got all originators. The, I, I want te, you know the seven kingdoms so as I told you that's going to be my Wakanda and these yeah. guys are twins from one family and I think he might be related he might be related to my general he's going to oh. be a, a wanderer yeah character Dude, that golden staff though is re pretty rare yeah well, like I said it's the, it's the fourth rarest of all of them right now yeah so. that one's super rare 
Uh -huh. Dude, um, I gotta get some more rares. And something else you um, do as well, and this kind of it doesn't necessarily help, but favorite to click on the heart on those NFTs. That sometimes the more the psychology is that the more people who have hearts on your NFTs, it sometimes it even makes psychology when you do want to sell. The more people who heart, and if you heart, um, it shows that other people are like kind of like watching or looking at that NFT, and then it um, a lot of like so when once you have it for sale, say you had it for sale for one ETH, and a lot of people are looking at it. You favorite it to know the ones that you're kind of keeping an eye on, and so it's you so you see the ones you favorited. That kind of shows you the ones you keep an eye on. So when you favorite all your NFTs, I favorite all my NFTs, and then other people favorite them. And then when it's time to buy them, you can kind of it, people see like, oh, a lot of people are liking this one. And they they kind of get ready. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what, which one of these uh, I like. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So let me see if anybody's selling them. Let's see what they're selling for. I can't even click on it. I don't know what's going on, but anyway. All right. Well, I mean, for the purposes of what we were doing, yeah, we're good to go. We're good. Um, oh, I was gonna um, show you. So, if you do, if you do buy right now, we're doing a deal. If you buy three NFTs, um, you get each three NFTs you get um, right now from now till early April until we run out of the Kingdom tokens. You will get a. Um, you will get one airdrop kingdom token and then maybe let me share my screen or go to back to discord let me show you how to do that or how to um claim that so to claim that you need to open a ticket so go to under miscellaneous i think it's ticket support to the bottom um or not the very bottom but under miscellaneous you should see a support ticket or there you go ticket support right above report so go there, create a ticket. This is how you create a ticket in two as well. So now click on that ticket, ticket 1041. And then you're gonna do at Trinity. At Trinity, and then and then put, you're gonna drop your ETH address. So you're gonna give her her ETH address because we got to airdrop you a Kingdom Warrior NFT for us to airdrop. We need um, to know the wallet we need to airdrop. And you need to say, um, say, um, hello, I I just bought three more NFTs, and then um, I'll go in there and help you out as well to um, hook you up because I know you're gonna get three more. So say hello, I just bought three more NFTs um, here to claim uh, Kingdom Token airdrop. And so this is how I'm shooting this video as well to see we can cut this up on how to um, claim your Kingdom tokens. We need your you know your address, and your address also will let us verify that you bought that that address is what bought. And all that so the address shows us that and then also shows us um um all right so yeah and then that's all you have to do and then you can actually tag me in there too just because i i need to look at that one so kingdom exactly. warrior and i'm at kingdom warrior eric that one yep so there you go so that's how you do that um that's how you claim your uh your bonus and then you just click enter so perfect. So now you got a ticket open. Um, so that's how tickets work. But yeah, we're rocking and rolling. Um, congrats, Jason. Got three more NFTs and he's um, getting another three as well. So we'll be on his way to be a Kingdom General leading his army to victory. But yeah, we're super excited. And that's um, all for today for, as far as minting. And we'll see you guys in the next recording.